Afternoon folks, welcome back. Okay, another little tie for you, another little dial bark pattern. I thought, well, we've got uh, materials out to do the dial barks with. Uh, we'll do another little one. This one is going to be the traffic light dial. Um, uh, just a variation on the theme of the, uh, the red rib dial, but yeah, another deadly little pattern. So, uh, hook and device is a size 10175, and thread we're going to be using is UTC 17 black again. I'm just going to catch that in. And a little bit more to this to get the order of the materials right on this, okay? But first thing we're going to fit into there is the tail. Um, and we're just going to be using a uh, black hen again for the tail and the throat. So I'm going to select a little pinch. Not too much, just enough that's going to do me. Just tear that off. And then offer that up to the hook just so that it comes just off the back of the hook. I don't want a massive long tail, but enough. Just that suggestion. That's lovely, just catch that in. And then bring the thread up to the top. Okay, um, we're gonna have to tie in three materials at this point. Okay, and you gotta put them in the right order. So the first one to get tied in is the last one you're gonna be using. And that is a little bit of silver wire. This is going to be your wood protector. So that goes in at this stage, just like that. And then um, the next one, when you're doing this um, traffic light, is a strip of um, Pearl uh, Uni. Okay, that's going to be your over wrap. So we'll take a little piece of that, trap that in. And then the last bit to go in is your uh, a, a red tinsel. Okay, that's the last bit you want to select to go in there. So again, just taking a little piece of that and uh, we'll pop that in now. I can get it off the spool. There we go. And that gets caught in there now as well. So you've got those three materials there, all caught in, all ready to go. I'm just going to bring that all the way back down, like that, so you've got one, two, three, they're ready to go. Okay, body material for this is you've got a choice, you can either use pheasant tail or you can use um, peacock, it really is up to you. Uh, I think for this one, we're going to use a bit of peacock for this one. So I'm just going to select a couple of strands of peacock here. Okay. Like that. And then I'm just going to cut the tips off there so they're married up together and catch them in. Bring that thread all the way back up again and then just start working the peacock up the body touching turns doesn't really matter which way you put this on because when you wet it it'll all fold back in here so leaving yourself plenty of room to finish everything off at the top of the hook there just catch in and then trim off the waist trim off the excess okay Let's see, I do like peacock and these flies because it just catches the light. So first thing I'm going to do is go and rig up this um, with your red. Okay, so select your red. You can do this in, in all in one. I'm going to do it and break it down for you a little bit just to show you the process. But just start bringing that up. You want three turns. One, two, three turns like so. And trap that in behind the head. All right, and then you come up again and follow that up exactly with the pearl mylar covering over the top of the rib to give you this traffic light effect. Okay, just take your time with this. One, two, three. Top of the hook. Catch it in. Just going to trim these off and get them out of the way. You can see how this starts to work now. This gives it that traffic light effect. 
and you're moving it about and it gives you one one bit is the mirage and the next bit is the red and then we're going to come up in opposite turns now with your wire just to protect everything like that okay the wire doesn't actually add much to the pattern at all kind of disappears in, into the uh, uh, peacock but it will help protect the fly there we go now we're not going to put any cheeks on this one because the attraction is in this um, uh, uh, way we whip the body, the way we wrap the body. But what we do need to do is put a beard in on it, okay? And I'm just going to turn the hook upside down on the vise. You can rotate your vise, of course. If I did that, it means I'd have to move the camera about. But uh, So we just turn that upside down. Come back to your um, hen hackle that you've got there and select another pinch of the hen hackle. Same size as the tail and just offer that up you want that to come sort of middle of the just like that so it's just sort of level with the point of the hook maybe just inside the point of the hook catching a couple of loose turns you can just move it if you need to but that looks quite good to me and then lovely that's that in there nicely i'm going to trim this waist off now as best we can And just tidy the head up with your time thread. Yep, happy with that. That all looks good. Just that time thread round, try and catch any loose wraps, and then we're going to whip finish. Got a little loose wrap there. Oh, it's got gotcha. you. It's annoying me. And then we'll just whip finish here. Trim off. Get this back and roll it around in the vise. Nice compact little fly. You can see as I change the light there, how that one is red and then it becomes the mirage as it catches the light. Um, I'm just going to finish it off with a little drop of varnish. You could put cheeks on this if you want. I think it kind of takes away from the um, what this pattern's all about. It really is about this rib. Um, this lovely ribbon and the way this moves with the light. The traffic light's a great combination. Works on lots and lots of flies. I love it on a, um, on a cormorant. Great on a buzzer. Good attractant. I've done very well on these. Um, traffic lights in various different forms on Rutland and very good to me on Rutland over the years traffic light buzzers got some cracking Roma brilliant browns on them and there you go that's just your nice traffic light buzzer and I think that light there you know, just lean off the light a little bit there you'll see the red and how that works like that lovely okay well, I hope you enjoyed that another pretty quick tie that one very very effective little fly Thanks for joining me, and um, please click like, click subscribe, and um, I'll keep putting a few of these videos out for you as long as I can. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.